Ambidex. Oh, the Ambidex game. Ally or betray? Oh, the reactor. This nuclear reactor automatically supplies electricity for years without any extra input. How do you know all that? I read it in the manual that's right over there. What, you, you don't think Zero plans to lock us in this shelter for years and years, do you? That's not funny. It's pointless. I checked it already. Damn. That means we're trapped. <sighs> it's the new year. 22 years since Maria was born. Never thought there'd be a time when I couldn't wish her Happy New Year. This is the worst year ever. Is she your girlfriend? No. She's my little sister. She, uh, fell ill ten years ago and was admitted to the hospital. I figured she'd be lonely in there, so I always stopped by after work. Ah, uh, um, that's... Every good morning and good night was so important to us. And now... Oh, that's right. <laughs> Happy New Year, Junpei. What? What's with you all of a sudden? I've wanted to say that to you for ten years. But I couldn't. You say it now, but... I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. At least give her a proper response. You're her boyfriend, right? No, I am not. She's... she's just a childhood friend. Really? And here I thought you were dating. God knows. Whoops. I'm sorry if I made things awkward. I just wanted to learn how you guys were connected. The... you know, the best way to build teamwork is to know who your partners are. How like a firefighter. Yeah. <sighs> well... Leave it at that for now. Okay, we can't hang around here like this forever. Let's find a way out. All right. This looks like the control panel for the reactor. The power is not on. Okay, then we won't mess with that. Why is this drainage ditch uncovered? I have no idea, it's a very strange design. Water could just splash right now. It's an odd choice with all these machines around. What is this big screen for? No idea, no way to tell either since it's off. Let's come back after the power is on. Okay. What could we already mess with? Everything looks frozen in here. Hmm. Ah, this door won't open. It's got a red light, and maybe it's locked? If that's true, then how do we open it? This valve is shut right now. Then how about we open it? Okay. What would happen if we turned this switch on? It's too dangerous, Carlos. We'll, we get shocked. It's not leaking out anywhere, and it's too risky to chance. Let's turn it off. Okay. The gas on the wall the gas valve on the wall is shut. Let's open it then. La 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 la. Okay. I'm not really quite sure what that is all doing.
Is this the power distribution lever? I think so. Moving the lever should change where the power is directed. Um. Huh, the lights aren't on. Is the power not on? So that's for the exposed wires. Hey, it looks like we can change the switch on this locker. Neither of these lights are turning on. I don't think the power's running through it. If we did get it going though, It's like a furnace door. We can light a fire in here. It won't explode when we light it, right? If it's broken. This locker isn't opening. Maybe it'll unlock if we direct the power to here. Odd. Water isn't coming out. Maybe the valve is closed. Or it's just broken. It's the main valve for the water pipes. Uh... Damn, this is hard. It's frozen shut. It is very cold in here. Maybe if we warm the room up, it will turn. This is going to be a pain in the ass room. It's always the C-team rooms that I find the most difficult. What the hell? It's not budging. I see a keyhole down here. We probably need a key before we can pull it. This heater has a drawer. Nothing's in here. But it looks like we can put two rectangular objects inside. The valve is open right now. That's fine for now. We don't really need to close it. Okay, so we want to leave those open. This thermometer is sitting at negative 10 degrees Celsius. Christ, no wonder it's so damn cold in here. I remember there was a theme park once with a negative 30 degree attraction. Too cold for me. This is the main gas valve. It's shut right now, let's open it. Okay, will this work now? Seems like it's flowing through. Ah, this smell is definitely 
gas. Yep, it's connected all right. Then we only need to start a fire here and the heater will... Oh. Now you listen. Hmm, something's on the ground. It's a box of matches. I think we can still use these matches. This room is so cold. Let's light one and think about warm food. Like the little match girl. Well, it's not like I don't agree with the sentiment. But she died in the end. That went well, I think. It's a lot easier to examine this room when it's warmer. This slider, maybe it's a switch for the power distribution panel. Let's push it. Ugh, oh, is that simple? Okay. Switching the lever should redirect the power. Alright, so let's redirect it. Oh, the other light turned on. I had to look it up because I was getting frustrated. Alright. But it was that simple. I'm going to exit out of that. The power switch for the locker. Let's see what happens when we turn it. Huh. The light changed. The power is going where the switch is pointed. Huh. I think we can open this door. It's a steel mold. Where could we use this? This steel mold. Doesn't it look like it makes a key shape? You're right. It could... It really would make a cute Costella. I'm pretty sure it's not for baking cakes. Where could we use this? A locker. It won't open because there's no power. The bottom light is on. Oh, I think we can open this locker. Is this a puzzle? Hmm. Okay. Oh, joy, it's one of these. Let's see here.
This one's kind of tricky. That seems to work. Sure. I think that's it. All right, good, awesome. Oh, we solved it somehow. All right, Carlos. There's something inside. Let's take a look. A sink plug. So does that mean we put it in the sink then? Too big to shove up your nose, at least. I can't think of anywhere else to use. <laughs> really, Junpei, you can't? I'm sure you could. Oh, we got two of them. Alright. I think the plug can fit in here. Oh, look, look, look! It fits super well! Yay! The This cutesy thing is kind of creeping me out, Akane. What? I guess this plug was meant to be used here. It fit perfectly. Open that though. Let's change the power. Oh, I think we can open this. It's an extinguisher. The label says freezing fire extinguisher. A freezing fire extinguisher. It'll freeze things lickety-split. Uh, what? Oh, why are you pointing that at me, Junpei? Uh, no reason. Just curious. You just wanted to see how she'd react, didn't you? I hope so. Goodness. The bottom light is on. The locker down here should open. This is a block of tin. A block of tin. The melting point of tin is low, so it's an easy material to process. It's often used for tableware and other daily necessities. So... Hmm.
The steel mold, it fits in the hole here. It's just the right size. We'll just leave it there then. Hey, this tin block could fit this hole here. Fits perfectly. No reason to take it out, may as well leave it. Wonder what happens if we close this. Huh, did you guys hear something? The light over there was red, but now it's green. Maybe that means the furnace door on top is unlocked. Finally. Oh, looks and feels like the fire's lit. Hmm, <laughs> did you hear a sound below? Let's take a look. Huh, there's something in here. A key made of tin. It's pretty decently made, too. It's probably used somewhere in this room. Well, guess we need to find a hole that'll fit it. This key. I think it'll fit in this keyhole. Oh, it fits perfectly. Maybe we can pull the lever. The key's in. I'm ready to pull the lever on your command. Why do you look so happy about this, Jinpei? Too much anime? That does look like a lever that control a giant robot. Whoa, that's an old reference. You'd like to watch those too, Carlos? I like machines. My sister's not a fan, but she enjoys watching almost anything on TV. You truly love your sister, don't you? And now we're off topic. I'm pulling it. What? The reactor turbine? Looks like the shields came down. Oh, I think we can turn the valve now. The ice around it is melting. Now, if we just put some back into it... Uh, the valve is open and now we have water. The sink is plugged and now to turn on the water. Oh my, it's flowing out over the side. The drainage ditch is right below it though. Don't slip and fall now. Do I really seem that clumsy to you, Junpei? You can be absent-minded. No one's 100% perfect, right? Mimi. If we turn the water on... It will overflow and go down into the drainage ditch. The ditches are full of water. Turning the power on now will... Hey look, the monitor's over there turned on. The drains are acting like power cords. I would have never believed this would work. Yeah, but we've no clue how long it'll last. Let's get to examining while we have power. Oh, look at the monitor. Well, these shapes are weird. Maybe it's a puzzle. I'm guessing we need to solve this next. Let's take a look. Alright. Okay, let's find... Where this can go.
There we go. Hey, I think we did it. The cord lit up, and now it's spinning. The monitor the side turned on too. Let's see what it says. Well, we got the power on, but what now? I don't know, but we should be able to use this at least. Let's get started then. Alright, I am looking up a guide for this because I... Uh, this is annoying. So it says here to move column 1 as far as up it can go. And then move column 3 down one place from its starting position. So about here. Column six, as far down as it can go. Uh, column seven, down two places. So one, two, there we go. <laughs> All the lasers are hitting the center target now. Does this mean the re reactor core will be hit with radiation as well? Great. What's this say? The modder is saying evacuate or shut down the power. Oh, the alarm's going off. This is bad. We gotta do something. Can't exactly evacuate right now, but maybe we can shut off the power? We have an insulator, we can cut off the power flow from the drain. Well, rubber and glass are insulators, right? Was there anything like that in this room? Other things that can stop an electric current are resin, air, and even ice. <sighs> we can freeze it. Yes, electricity doesn't flow through ice. We can use that. Um. But we ice the sinks. Stopping the water there isn't going to work. The drain outlets are still covered. Hmm. 
Why? The switch is off, but the pot control panel's still on. Zero might be doing it. We need to find another way. If we freeze the drainage ditches with this extinguisher. Alright, there we go. Stuff. <laughs> All the graphical limitations. Thank goodness. Disaster averted, and the lights are turning back on. Oh, hey, the door over there opened. Should we check it out? Oh, ah, ah! Akane! Oh, the top layer of the ice melted? She stepped in the water? Akane! Akane! Come on, wake up. The go-to guy. She's okay. She's just unconscious. Her breathing and pulse are normal. I see. Now announcing the current casualties. QT, Q, Mira, Eric. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X-passes will be revealed. I, Kim, that is all. Team. Hey. It, it had to have been the vote. No, we can't be sure all of Q-Team was really killed. Uh, yeah, yeah, y you're right. We need to focus on getting out of here somehow. Um, you seem to be forgetting that the exit's still locked. Well then, all we can do is go into that room. is this thing? Akane? She's laying down outside. Uh, the, the hell is this? No clue. Something's up on the monitor, though. Players, Carlos and Junpei, stand before the monitor and vote to either A, ally, or B, betray. You must vote at the same time. If the timing is off, everyone within the shelter will be executed. Both of you will start with 3 BP. This number will change based on the voting results. If you both choose ally, both will gain 3 BP. If both choose betray, all BP points remain the same. If Carlos chooses ally and Junpei chooses betray, Carlos loses 3 BP while Junpei gains 6 BP. If Carlos chooses Betray and Junpei chooses Ally, Carlos gains 6 BP while Junpei loses 3 BP. When either player's BP reaches 9, the exit door will unlock. If your BP drops to 0, you will be executed. Method of Execution The bracelet will administer a muscle relaxant and into your bloodstream. In this way, you at least receive a peaceful death. Beware, others will share the same fate as you. If Carlos dies, Diana and Sigma will die as well. If Junpei dies, Akane and Fai will die. Make your choice carefully. Share the same fate. If I die, Akane and Fai die too. And Diana and Sigma are killed if I die. Hot damn! How far is Zero going to go with his... Toying with us! Ally or betray? <sighs> well, what will it be, Carlos? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? We choose ally twice. We'll add six additional points to our initial three, and we'll both end up with nine BP. No one dies, no one gets hurt. The exit door will open. 
and C Team will be able to get out. Oh, yeah, I get it. There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? Zero's aiming for us to kill ourselves off here. All right. Hey, um, before we do this, do you mind if we check on Akane? <sighs> this girl here, she's always been really smart. If she thinks the tiniest thing is off, she'll start debating with buts and ifs, like, like someone at least twice her age. But to all of us, back in grade school, she was pretty strange. Well, I, I guess she came across as scary. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just, well, not many people wanted to be friends. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I decided that I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her, if I could. Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She didn't take it well. So, without telling me or the teachers, she went to their hutch, crying and, and apologizing over and over to them. That was over ten years ago. Uh, a memory that's been tucked away in my brain, covered in dust. <laughs> when I saw her again last year, I was... I was reminded of that time. I just can't not keep an eye on her. I... I know. She always goes and <laughs> just quietly shoulders everything herself. That's why I want to protect her. I wanted to help her bear whatever weight she's taken up. I truly felt that. But, well, I don't know. It was like, it was like I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. Hell, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I even cared. I wanted to find out more about who she really was. To go and, and see her. Come on, yeah. you have someone you really care about, don't you? You mean my sister? Yeah. My parents died in a fire. And then Maria fell ill to an incurable disease. Above anything else, I want to save her. I want to see her smile like before. That's what I decided. That's why. Ah, now I get it. That's why you need the five hundred thousand uh, dollars. It's clear we both have someone we want to protect. And neither of us can afford to die now. Right. So let's get out of this room by both picking ally. We'll work on getting out of this shelter after that. Okay. Let's get this over with. Yeah. Back to the room for us. Don't get the timing wrong, okay? We have to enter them at the same time to... I know. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> 